Here's what we're gonna be making today. These at the top are made with just the details HTML element. As you can see, you can open more than one of them at a time. And then down here below, we had just a little bit of JavaScript to make it so that when I click one, the other two will automatically close. Hope you learned something new here. Check it out. All right, we're gonna walk through this one step at a time. We've got an H1 accordions. First thing we're gonna add is a section for just the details. We're not gonna add any JavaScript here. We're gonna do it all just with HTML. So I'm gonna add a section. Then within that section, I'm gonna add an H2, accordion using details. And we're gonna add our first details element. And it is just like any other HTML element. You need to close it down here. And then within that, the first thing I want is a summary. So the summary is gonna be this text that shows whether it's opened or closed. Then right below that summary, I'm just gonna add text. And you can see, I can toggle this open and close and you'll see that text underneath there. Let's add an open tag though, save this. Now when I page reload, the first one will actually remain open out of the gate. Let's add a couple more elements in the same way. You can see you can add links, other stuff inside here, whatever you wanna do. It's not styled yet, we'll do that at the end. Okay, next, after we've got these, let's make another section down here for the JavaScript. We're gonna do another section. We're gonna add another H2. We're gonna have this one toggled open. And the only difference with these is we're gonna add the class with JS because we're going to use some click listeners down below. As you can see right now, even with that class, we're not doing anything with it, so it behaves exactly the same as the first set of details. Let's go down here though, add a script at the bottom, and the first thing we want is to query selector all the summary elements. So we're gonna use that class that we put on everything, the with JS class, and then we're just going to add an event listener to listen for the clicks on those. So when we click here, we'll fire off this function, which we will now create. Down here, let's create the open close details function. We're gonna go through the summaries again, and for each of the summaries, we're gonna declare a new variable, which is the details. So for each of these summaries, we are then going to grab the parent node, and if the details are not this parent node, so if this details element is not the one that I'm clicking right here, we're gonna remove the attribute open. And so it's gonna do that for each of them. And as you can see, as I save this, I saved the wrong thing there. As I save this, now it toggles closed all the ones that I'm not clicking. And you can toggle closed the active one as well. Okay, let's add some style and you can make it even more readable, do whatever you wanna do with the CSS. Hope that's helpful for you. It was for me as I learned it. Please click like if it was and subscribe to my channel, making more content like this on the regular. You're awesome, thanks.